Well, this is a double boiler machine. Mm -hmm. So that means it has a steam boiler and a brew boiler. And the brew boiler, let's see, is 0.58 liters, and the steam side is 1.7. You're okay. always and they're copper. Okay. Copper boilers. You're always going to have a bigger boiler on the steam side. Okay. Always gives you more steaming power. It's got the E61 brew head, which has hot water running through it all the time. It's a, um, a commercial grade uh, 58 millimeter portafilter. Comes with a single and a double portafilter. And a single, excuse Whoa. me. <laughs> nice one, Gail. Okay, I, like I, okay. I like to do that. <laughs> Stainless steel casing, as you can say, uh, versus the, um, the Cellini and the Giotto, it comes with the metal. It comes up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We like that. Mm -hmm. Water it's very pretty. Water tank right back here. 1.7 liters, I think that was. No, two, yeah. Let's see. 2.5 liters. 2.5 liters, yep. okay. I'm, I'm quoting boiler sizes now. <laughs> comes okay. Up. And this machine can be plumbed in as well. Nice. So it's got a rotary pump instead of a vibratory. All right. And um, it has a PID interface for the for controlling the the uh, yes. temperature on your mm -hmm. brew boiler. You can get in here and you can control the brew boiler temperature. Uh, you can change the language. You can change it from water reservoir to plumb in from your city source. Got it. And you can also... I think you can change, change the... the... You can turn the surface boiler, which is the seam boiler, on and off. Okay, nice. If, if you're not a steaming kind of a person, you can turn it off. So, okay. So, 1,400 then... watts. Okay. And still, it's only 15 amps, a regular plug in your house. Mm -hmm. So it's cycling. It cycles back and forth, back and forth. If you have both boilers on at 1,600 watts apiece, mm -hmm. it'd blow the circuit. Okay. You'd have to have a 30-amp circuit. So anyway, this, so this, this cycles back and forth, so you can still run it at your regular household current. Cool. And we've got our two gauges here. Yep. This is the boiler. Uh, the boiler gauge tells you that the boiler, what the pressure is in the boiler, and it usually will range between, oh, just a tab below one to tab above one. Okay. And this one over here, hope you can see it. That is actually the pressure at the brew head when you're brewing. If it's if you have your grind and your tamp and all that correct, it should pop up to ten, ten and a half, and then ease back to about nine and a half. And then your shots should come out at that 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. So we've got our E61 brew head. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our drip tray. Yep. Now the drip tray on the... Whoop. Let's not take that up. It's still <laughs> dripping. On the R58 has a drain in it. Cool. Uh, I would say that would be the one thing that I would... Um, you know, on a machine like this, I'd like to see the drip tray a little bit bigger. But if you're plumbing it in, and a drain, drain, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm -mm. If okay. You're using it as a tank without a drain. Eh, you gotta empty it pretty often. Cool. Okay. okay. GS3. This is the GS3 my Lamar Zoko. Uh, this is another double boiler machine. Uh, their boilers are stainless, and the steam side is uh, 3.5 liters, and the brew side is 1.5 liters. Um, has a water tank built into it right down here. Let me set that down. The water tank is 3.5 liters. It's a mambo. Mm hmm I like that function. I like it too. The only thing about this is for cleaning it, mm -hmm. if you leave too much water in there for too long and it gets scungy, you got to take all these screws out. Oh, I see. To get the lid off. This is your access. I the see. Water in. So, so it while is. it won't spill. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I got that apart. This is the drip tray. This thing is mumbo too. Yeah, it's huge. Of, uh, <laughs> you could, you could, if you only use that once or twice a day and you don't empty it, you could have you a specimen growing, <laughs> growing a whole new yeah. community in oh, there. Yeah, a new community. <laughs> this is a paddle machine, and it also comes in a, a programmable button machine as well. But if you go over part way, you can watch that gauge. There's your pre infusion, and that's at the uh, little shy of three bars there. Yep. And then okay. There's your pump, your rotary pump. It has a rotary pump. Uh, delivers hot water right here, and I'm going to show you how uh, this machine also, you can vary the temperature of the hot water that comes out of here for different teas. Oh, nice. You can, you can, there's a little lever under there, and I'll show you in a minute, that regulates how much cold water is mixed with the hot water. Okay. Changing the temperature. 
Uh, the steaming on this thing is mambo as well, along with everything else that it's got going on. Ooh, I'm about to get my leg. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. And it does come stock with the uh, insulated. Just as you're seeing it. Yeah, see, that's not hot. It's mm -mm. warm up in here, but it's not yeah. hot. Uh, this lever works down, left, right. It, you can either pulse it or you can put it on. And it'll lock any position you push it into. Okay. Uh, let's see. Like I said, stainless steel innards in this. We should machine. talk about this awesome portafilter that oh, yeah. comes with. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> that. This is a, this, as you can see, the angle of the handle. That's so that when you put it down like this to tamp, it's actually flat. But remember, you can't tamp that one because the well, breakaway you, spouts. You can, but if you go too hard, it'll do. Well, breaking. yeah. So you you it has your little. You flat got this thing, thing here. Yes. Yes. Right. I mean, you can do that, but it's going to break away. These <laughs> pop right off. Yes. <laughs> and, it's, and it's hard to get back on, but it does. So yeah, you go like this, and that's what that's about—the flat area. And then this is also a stainless steel yep. porta filter. Let me see if I can pop this off. Yeah. Here. It's brand, it's this is fairly spanking new though, so we're not going to see much, I think, in the. Yeah, you're right, but that's stainless steel in there, mm -hmm. and what it does is versus the chrome plated brass is the chrome plated brass eventually the chrome plating comes off and you have brass under there, mm -hmm. and it collects more of the residual stuff from the coffee and it stays there. It doesn't stick to the stainless in the same fashion, so you don't get the taste. Got it. You can just wipe away. You can wipe away. Wipe and wear, Gail. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm going to show the breakaways. <laughs> We've had customers do that. And they're like, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can't break it. And you're not going to gouge up your countertop quite as much. Yeah, which is so nice. So you can turn that into a single. <laughs> <laughs> a single spout double. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it does come with a double and a single. Okay. All right, any other specs? Uh, PID, like I said, you can control the temperature on this. Um, you know, your, your brew temperature. So that's kind of nice. Kind of nice. And you can also control um, how much water comes out. Mm -hmm. the hot water. Just watch this. See, that's programmed Program for that amount of water. So we Inert. lifted the lid to show you what's going on in here, folks. And here's the brew boiler with that insulation wrap around it, and I forgot to mention that when we were talking earlier. Mm -hmm. And there's the steam boiler insulation. Mm -hmm. And you can see that these are those brass end plates that we talk about that the rockets have on them. Mm -hmm. The rest of the boiler is copper, which it's hard to see here, but it is. But you can kind of see a little bit of color. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, here's your, there's your uh, rotary pump. Can you see it? It's that big monster down there. They're much uh, bigger, yes. the rotary pumps. This is where the water, um, from your water tank engages into the machine. And you know, we have people that use distilled water. See that screw down in there on the side of that white thing? Mm -hmm. That's where the, you can see an electric lead coming off of that. That's where it uh, detects the minerals in the water. So if you're using distilled water, it will not detect any minerals and it will say, I don't have any water. Oh, uh -huh. that's what that is. Cool. Yeah, so that's the inside of the R58. R58, woo hoo. <laughs> the panels fell off. That's one nice thing on the GS3 on the panels. Um, they have these caps that go on here mm -hmm. for looks. And then underneath that, when you take them off, this is the these are the nuts that hold on the panels. Okay. Here's the panel. So it's super easy to access. Very easy. Yep. The insides. Okay. Yep. So what do you got going on inside here? Well, this is that little uh, valve that I was talking about that regulates how much cold water versus uh, blends in with the hot water. So you can, right there, you can regulate the temperature of your uh, water. Okay. This right here is the steam boiler, and you can see that they put an insulation around it. Can you see that on the top? Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's or the it's same. The it's the same area. stuff right there. Yeah. And they put it as far as they can. It starts to get crowded in yeah. there. Yeah. This is the brew boiler over here. Mm-hmm. Solenoid valve, another solenoid valve that controls the function of the steam and hot water and stuff like that. And then if you come over here, this is the this is the uh, this is the uh, pump motor, and this is your rotary pump right here. 
Okay, so the motor is back, is that big, it's, long thing? Yeah, it's that's, a big, long okay. thing. You could see it, I think, when we were on the other side, too. But a little bit. I didn't point it out, but it was there. Okay, and these were, are actually where the veins are? Yep. Are, okay. Yep, and this is the steam valve assembly right behind here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And um, you wanted to talk about how the water, for there's temperature consistency. Yes. On the GS3, unlike other ones, they took the same technology that they use in their commercial machines, and they the water that comes from the water tank or your household source, and this is plumbable, mm -hmm. it goes first into the steam boiler, and then it goes into the brew boiler. So it's preheated in the steam boiler before it ever gets to the brew boiler, making your recovery time much faster. So it's basically a heat exchange that feeds a, a, a brew boiler. Yep. Got it. Exactly. Okay. So, yep. so what that means is you're recovering, Much you're, faster. You're, you're never like pulling a bunch of cold water into that right. brew you, boiler. You and could be pulling water into the brew boiler that would be 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's what mom grew, figured out about six feet in the ground. It's a steady 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's what your water would be. Uh, instead, it's hot. <laughs> it's cool. like 200 and something. <laughs> <laughs> Lower down, buckaroo. <laughs> Pretty fast. Oh, yeah. We're getting hot. <laughs> I know I'm already hot, but my hands are hot. Ow! Too hot! What a hot tub! <laughs> too hot, too hot, baby. That was just at uh, barely 40 seconds, Gail. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know because when we go over to the AS3, <laughs> we're going to see that thing go whoop, done. <laughs> Say so myself. I'm watching the shot, you know. mm -hmm. Counting. <laughs> 18. 19. I see the numbers rolling on their eyes. <laughs> I'm thinking we're done. Yeah. Now, Gail, this is a little bit shallower of a cup, so I'm saying start your wiggling early for your latte art. <laughs> Is that it? Is that enough wiggle for you? I'm surprised I can still do that and not hurt myself. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no wiggle is going to make a difference. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind yeah, of arty here. I'm, th I'm thinking the tip. Like I'm thinking, I don't think this is perfect. Oh, yeah. It must be the, it's the equipment, right, gal? Yeah. yeah, it's never me. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Looks like plenty of coffee, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Can I taste try? it? Yeah, sure. I know you don't always like it because no. it's got milk in it. Yeah. Have a little sip. Whoopsie. I love these mm. little things that hang out. See this? Mm -hmm. This is that shirt. This is one of those shirts you can roll up mm. and button up. Mm. That's nice, Gail. It's All right. good, huh? So let's go over to the uh, GS3. Okay. And it's done. No, just kidding. <laughs> We're at 10 seconds, Gail. It's a little harder for me to control because I don't use it as often the foam portion. To wrestle. Wrestle it. Mm -hmm. It is almost done. What are we at? 25. <laughs> That's it. Wow, and I got lots of foam, too. We'll give a little pre-infusion. The gauge is going down. We didn't talk about the gauges. One of the yeah. gauges on this is for the brew boiler, and the other one shows the pressure at the brew head. Nice. Oh, that shot looks gorgeous, Gail. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. And it has a timer, too. It times your shot. It tells me now we're at 15, 16, 17. Keep you in track. 21. I don't have to count What are you way. doing, Gail? Counting. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That's like, I don't want to know. Look at that. How nice. It looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have kept this instead of wiggling my booty. I should have been 
over here jiggling this. Wiggling your moo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Da, 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 da. This is that same picture with the faulty tip. Exactly. So I'm never going to get anything off of this. I'll, only just a lot of milk. Uh, come on. Uh, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, it looks, well, it's it kind looks of like, close oh, come to, on. A, to a clover. Don't, don't humor me. It's nothing. Do, 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 do. It looks, the foam is nice, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, plenty of coffee, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's very yummy. That yummy? All right. So that is the uh, Rocket R58 uh, dual boiler versus the Lomar Zoco GS3, also a dual boiler. Mm -hmm. You can look them up on our webpage and... See some more stats and differences. More, yeah, more, yeah. The biggest difference, I would say, is their price. I was just going <laughs> to say, that's why I go to our website. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but, a difference uh, in price, but. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, I mean, you know, they they both function very well. Very well. I like them both. Cool. It Thanks, depends Gail. on your budget.